What is up guys? Welcome to a GPC transaction video. We made a couple of changes in the GPC. Now, if you don't know the rules, it only happens every three weeks that people can make changes and it goes turn by turn, kind of like drafting, but we were able to make a couple of what I feel are crucial changes to the team. Now they may end up hindering us, but I feel like I'm a little more comfortable with these Pokemon. Let's start with the first transaction. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. So as you guys may or may not know, we had Simisage. Uh, on our team for the GPC. Now, I never brought it, and I felt like I wasn't going to bring it at any given time, so I felt like it was time to drop it and get something that maybe would help me out in a couple of future matchups. So, I decided my team has an electric type already, and I feel like it needs another one, a faster one, something that can actually outspeed even, like, let's say, rain sweepers with a scarf. So, I decided to switch out Sim Simisage for Electrode. Same amount of points, two, which is really funny. Uh, but Electrode has a couple of really cool abilities in Soundproof, Static, and Aftermath. Aftermath being the most used one, of course, uh, because if you hit it with a contact move and knock it out, then you take 25%. Can get some clutch knockouts on weakened threats, so that's really nice. Soundproof also allows us to switch into moves like Hyper Voice uh, and basically any sound move so hyper voice boom burst anything like that we can switch in freely not have to worry about them so i can use it as a counter to things like x cloud pretty much whatever uh boom burst noivern anything that i would go up against i'm not sure if any of my opponents in the next weeks have those pokemon i will check uh but that'll come through with prep so i also wanted something uh faster than base 100s so, as you guys know, we have Zapdos and Mega Gardevoir. Zapdos is already a pretty fast electric type, but it can't outspeed base 100s. Whereas Electrode can because of its staggering 140 base speed. So, even uninvested, like just a little bit of investment right here, I can already outspeed base 100s with just 52 speed. That means that I can put the rest into my special attack, and if I want to put the remaining amount into my HP, I can. Which gives Electrode a little bit of bulk, extra, uh, which it doesn't have prior, of course and uh, it gives it a very nice special attack stat. 284 is nothing too great, uh, but it's it's good enough with Thunderbolt, uh, the likes of Thunder, Volt Switch giving me priority, just like Zapdos did. I don't want to put Zapdos into a Volt Switching role every week, uh, but Electrode can get some stuff done. It also has Magic Code for bouncing back hazards if I want to use it as a lead. Gets Explosion, gets Sucker Punch, which is really crucial. Priority is always nice. We already have that with Extreme Speed from Entei, but this is a good thing to have. Taunt as well, a fast taunter is always nice on a team. Just a couple of really cool things about Electrode that make it uh, a decent Pokemon for two points, of course. So uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted something faster than base 100s. We had Simisage, but it was only just outpacing them. And its attack and special attack are only 98, so it's not too great. Now, of course, you can argue that Electrodes isn't either, but it gives me momentum, which is something that I really wanted. We already have a nice U-turn and pl plus Volt Switching Core with uh, Uxie and Zapdos, but Electrode just adds to that, so that's nice. Next up, we had Crocodile. So this is the final transaction I made. I said next up, but this is the last one. Uh, Crocodile is a Pokemon that Rob knows how to use a lot better than I do. Uh, this thing has a great HP stat, great attack stat, decent speed, uh, good defenses. It's, it's pretty much well-rounded and it's a nice pursuit trapper. But my team was lacking a lot of uh, reliable recovery. Zapdos was the only real thing that was ever getting its health back outside of rest with Roost. So I felt like I needed something else. But I also needed a ground type. I needed an immunity to electric type attacks because my team was extremely weak to them. And I needed something that can also set up rocks. So I needed a ground type that could set up rocks and that had reliable recovery. And the best possible Pokemon for that role is, of course, Hippowdon. Uh, so you guys can see all these Pokemon at the top. You can, if you skip through this video, that's fine, but Hippowdon gives me that Stealth Rocker. It also gives me a very nice defensive wall. It has a higher HP stat than Crocodile, a higher defense stat, and as well as a higher special defense stat. Uh, while also having rivaling attack, it's just a lot slower, so it's a more of a passive Mon, but you can do a lot of cool things with Hippowdon. Like, if you want to invest in speed fully and give it a Choice Scarf, like, let's, let, let me just show you guys here. Uh, it goes up to 212, so it can outspeed like base 95s with a Choice Scarf. Like, Choice Scarf Hippowdon, of course, is kind of like a random thing that you wouldn't bring to every matchup, but it can be done in League format. Uh, but most of the time, of course, you'll be running this thing with a lot of bulk. Uh, you can even make it a fully spadef set if you need to take on special attackers. Uh, this thing can switch into two HP Ices from uh, Mega Manectric, no problem. Uh, as well as, uh, basically, it's not really hindered by hidden powers. So it can 
pretty safely switch in on a lot of electric types, whereas Crocodile had a little bit of a harder time because of the lower HP, the tendency to run higher attack or higher speed, uh, giving it less bulk, making it harder for it to switch into uh, those hidden powers uh, such as um, ice or uh, grass or anything like that. Hippowdon can switch in a lot easier to those things. It also gets up rocks, it has access to Earthquake, gets Stone Edge, gets all of the fangs, uh, including Ice Fang, which is really cool. It gets Iron Head, it gets uh, Rock-type coverage, just like Crocodile. Uh, gets Super Power, again, just like Crook. Uh, Whirlwind, which was probably the biggest thing for me. Um, I wanted something that could phase, because I have a spike stacking team with Cl So I wanted a Pokemon that could phase out my opponent to weaken teams a lot quicker. There aren't a lot of Pokemon that can reliably slide. There are very few Pokemon that can do that, uh, some of which include Azumarill, Kabutops, things like that. But other than water types and physical grass types, Hippowdon isn't too heavily threatened by physical attackers. So if you can keep whirlwinding your opponent out into a physical threat, it's pretty much uh, weakening the entire team because they constantly have to keep rotating out. And if they decide to start attacking you with their physical threats, you can just slack off the damage and you're back to full health. So that I wanted uh, because of this slack off right here, because of the fact that it got rocks, ground coverage, the ground typing, the neutral ground, which means it's weak to a lot fewer typings than Crocodile is. It's only weak to three, whereas Crook has like six weaknesses. So I feel that I'm a lot better with Hippowdon. I have a lot of experience with Hippowdon and I think it's gonna go a lot better in this format. So. That's, uh, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, I think that's uh, that's good enough. You guys get a, a good idea of where the team is going and wh what it consists of. If you don't remember, the rest of our members are like Yuxi, uh, Entei, Mega Gardevoir, Zapdos, Blastoise, which we've brought to almost every game. I think it's been to every single game this season. So hopefully this works out a little bit better for us. We'll see what the coming matchups. I do have a very difficult matchup week eight. So hopefully uh, these Pokemon can alleviate that a little bit. So that's uh, pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.